I am now out on bail. Are you listening to me? You listening? Yes, I am. I have a criminal record. And you know what you're going to have? What? A one-way ticket back to your parents. Don't send me back to my parents. They hate me. Not as much as I do. <laughs> oh, enough with the fake tears. I'm not faking. I'm really am sorry. Please don't send me back to my parents. I'll do anything. I'll even tell Miss Sarah I'm the one who put the lipstick in your pocket, which I didn't. It was her father who did it. He wanted to embarrass you. He said you were a simple-minded moron. Sarah's father called me a moron. A simple-minded Moron. And Sarah's father put the lipstick in my pocket. Yes. Why would he do that? Because he hates you. I don't know why. I certainly think you're a nice enough sort. And I suppose Sarah's father also put the hot sauce in my drink. That I don't know. You don't. No. You don't. No. You don't. No. You have no idea who did that. I would suspect the bartender. You would suspect the bartender. I did the theory. Well, you know, I would suspect someone else. Now, who could that be? If you're about to say what I think you're about to say, then I don't want to hear it. Sarah Davis loves you, Uncle Barton. She wouldn't do that. I mean, yes, she has problems, but every relationship goes through that. Oh. You don't think it was me? Oh, Uncle Martin! Ah! Get in the jail. I was strip searched. I, I, I was humiliated. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I made the tape. Oh, it was wrong, Uncle Martin. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, why? I think I know why. Because I was so angry at you for promising me that you would take me to Dinosaur World and then breaking that promise. What is it with you in this dinosaur world? It's a sick thing. You, you're obsessed with this dinosaur world. I believe the dinosaur world is the only place where a boy like me can be happy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Listen to me, listen to me! Shut up for a minute! Shut up! Would you listen to me? Would you listen to me? All right. Stop touching me like that. Put that over there. I'm trying to tell you something. Back when I was... Back when I was a little... Touch that dinosaur again, I'm gonna kill you. Stop and wanted to stand here. Give me the dinosaur. Give me the... I'll rip its head off. God almighty, boy. Now listen to me. I'm trying to tell you something to help you. Now Clifford... I'm trying to tell you something about back when I was a little boy growing up in Chicago, all right? There was a great amusement park called Riverview. Did your father tell you about it? Yes. And I thought that was the only place where a boy like me could be happy. But my father never took me there. And then one day, they tore it down before I ever got to go. I know how you feel, Clifford. You do? Yes. Does it ever get any easier, my Uncle Martin? Not really. Now here's the deal. You go up to your room and write a confession that I'm going to give to the police. And I won't send you back to your parents. And you tell Miss Sarah Davis that you and I are the best of friends. We are, aren't we? Shut up. But if you even look at me funny, or do one thing I find weird, which is your middle name... <laughs> See? You're doing it right now. Can you act like a human boy for one minute here? Look at me like a person. You can't do it for more than one second. Look at me like a human being. You can't do it. Now don't mess around with me, or you're gonna be back on that plane. Do you understand? I understand that I love you. All right, all right, all right. let it go, let it go, let it go. Step and walk back. He says, please don't hurt him, he's the only one left in his family. You know something? I don't want the dinosaur. Take the dinosaur. Go to your room and write the confession. Yes.
Pretty soon there won't be anybody left in his family.